for our church family meeting, we wanted to share with you some of the things that we're seeing God do amongst us as a church family. seen some significant growth in our children's and families work over the last 12 months. One of the most obvious signs of this has been the steady growth in both children and young families attending on a Sunday morning, many of whom are totally new to care. Over Easter, through our Horbush Family Afternoons and Family Easter Celebration, we reached over 60 families, showing the incredible message of Jesus' life, death and resurrection. We're continuing to reach out in mission through things like TLG, TOTS, Family Champions, through Open the Book Assemblies, through Horbush Family Afternoons and Paul Wilmot Schools Work. There's so much more going on. One of the biggest challenges the church in the UK faces, I think, is the increased secularisation in a postmodern world. And this presents many, many challenges, particularly to a younger generation. And in fact, probably you and I both know churches locally that um, if something dramatic doesn't happen, it, they may even face closure. We realise that we're not immune to the impact of that culture on our young people. But we're equally encouraged and, um, and, and, and amazed at what God is doing among young people in our own congregation. You all know that we've got Bethany Faulkner off serving the Lord right across the world on the mercy ships. We've got Joel and Jessamy both out on mission, working in different locations, one in the UK and one in Australia. And of course, we also know that Beth Dabbs recently has just visited Africa and done some amazing work. And of course, there are young people uh, in university who are reaching out in their own special way. We have a real passion in our heart to see a generation reach out with the gospel to their generation and I think we've begun to see encouraging signs of this. We've also shared in our Sunday meetings some of the stories of how God is working throughout our church family in mentoring, one-to-one -one discipleship and counselling. We continue to see Christ formed in people, healing hurts of the past and leading into greater freedom for the future. This year, we provided host homes for all of the young people taking part in the Sense and Stance, the Youth for Christ touring teams that go all around the country taking the gospel of Jesus into schools. It's a privilege to be able to be part of this work. New Life continues to meet the older generation here every Thursday. We do a hot meal and a dessert. They have company and friendship. We do activities with them. It's a great place for them to come every week. We have about 55 people here that we reach every week with the gospel of Jesus. In youth this year, we started a young leaders programme. This engaged seven 15 to 19 year olds in developing leadership skills, meeting with an older Christian to be mentored, and over the summer going to a festival where they can implement what they've learned. We really believe this is key to invest in our young people for now and for the future. There's so much more we could talk about. We haven't had time to talk about some of the schools work we have planned, some of the things that are happening in small groups and loads of different things. And as always, there'll be loads of things that we've forgotten or perhaps don't even know God is doing amongst us as a church family. But we want to celebrate. We still recognise the uphill struggle of facing an increasingly secular culture. This is a massive challenge for the UK church and the Western church in general. But we still think it's important to celebrate the things that God is doing and celebrate that together.